up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get into today's video, y'all be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. Hit my like button, man. Put your seatbelt on when you get in my car, bro. You're gonna watch the video, so make sure you hit the like button, bro. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in the car, bro. Subscribe to the channel. I'm bringing y'all daily boxing content on a regular basis. I ain't calling myself the best, but I work hard and I'm consistent, bro. So show some love by subscribing to the channel and share the video, bro. YouTube can't share with everybody. I need you to share it too. So please be sure to do that. And as well, comment down below, man. You know what I'm saying? I like to chop it up. I like to talk boxing with y'all. I love responding to my subscribers and to the people that view my videos, but I can't do that unless you comment down below. So leave a comment, bro. Comment down below. Um, and let's chop it up, bro. Also, man, um, if you're talking this boxing on YouTube or you want and you want to have me hop on a panel or you want to collaborate with me or something, hit me up at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. That's Knockout Boxing, the number eight, the number six at yahoo.com, bro. But without further ado, let's get it popping. Let's get into today's video. We got another one of my favorites. Y'all know I love doing the prediction videos. It's my favorite thing to do is to predict the fights and then go watch them, watch them and cheer for my predictions because I love being right, damn it. I love being right. And we did. We're doing four this week. And this is the final prediction. If you ain't caught up so far this week, we did the David Benavidez, Ronald Ellis. I got David Benavidez winning that, that one. We did the Raymond Ford versus Aaron Perez. I got um, Raymond Ford winning that one. And we just dropped the Ammo Williams versus Dennis Duglin. I got Ammo Williams winning that one, bro. Y'all go check out those prediction videos. Use those to bet because you know your boy coming with that heat, coming with that fire, and I'm going to be correct. And so if you want to win some money, watch my prediction videos, bro. You won't even need a job. You won't even need a job, bro. Just go watch my prediction videos, put some money down, and you'll win. Now, if you do lose, don't come over here talking shit. My bad, shit. It's YouTube. Why the hell you listen to a YouTube dude for, man? It's your fault. But anyway, let's get into it, bro. Um, I saved this one for the last because it's going to be the best fight, in my opinion. It's the one I'm looking most forward to, and it's the hardest one to call, bro. It's the hardest one to call. We got... Raymond or Ramon Chocolatito Gonzalez versus Juan Francisco Estrada, bro. Damn. In the super flyweight division. They fought about eight years ago. Seven, eight years ago. It was a damn good fight. Chocolatito won. And now they're fighting again. Chocolatito, 50 wins, two losses to the same person. WW, because I can't say his name. It's WW. First name start with a W. Last name start with a W. If you follow boxing, you know who he is. If you don't follow boxing, go look up the damn Google search and, and box rec, and then you try to say his damn name. WW is the dude's name, is who he lost to. Juan Francisco Estrada, he's lost three times. It's like 41 and 3. You feel what I'm saying? But. He beat everybody that he ever fought because he rematched uh, two of those opponents so far and beat both of them. And now he's rematching Chocolatito. And we're going to see if he can beat him. You're about to find out in this video who going to win. You don't even need to watch the fight. You want to know who going to win. You're watching right now. Chocolatito cuts the ring off extraordinarily well. Very, as most people in these 108, 114, these smaller weight classes, most of these dudes, they throw a lot of punches. Excuse me. They throw a lot of punches. They have great stamina. And what they lack in power, they make up for in quantity of punches. And Chocolatito is just that. He's aggressive. He got some counter punching ability. He got pretty good defense, you know. Really good skills. You can't take his skills away from him, but he presses the action. He coming forward. Point blank period. He coming forward. Soldier out of Nicaragua. Sorry if I said it wrong. Nicaragua. And you got one, Francisco Estrada. He can go forward, but he's good at counter punching. You know? And this, the styles is just perfect because Chocolatito starts fast, bro. He comes out with his hair on fire. Estrada finds distance. Starts a little bit slower, 
And so I feel like the fight is going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I don't know, man. All right? It's a tough one to call. Because, I mean, it's so intriguing, bro. They both could get knocked down. You feel what I'm saying? Chocolatito could just come out and just overwhelm Estrada. Estrada could come on late and dominate the later part of the fight because Chocolatito has gotten older. He starts getting tired like more than he used to because he used to be a soldier all the way through, never get tired. He's still real good at the end, but not as good as he once was in the, in the, in the second half of fights. Estrada's younger. He has less wear and tear on his body. Chocolatito rematched WW and lost to him worse than he lost to him the first time. So he hasn't been as good in rematches. It's one, Francisco Estrada. So what's going to happen? I don't know, man, shit. We're going to go with Juan Francisco Estrada, bro. We're going to go with Juan Francisco Estrada. I feel like Chocolatito has slowed down just enough. And I feel like Juan Francisco Estrada has gotten better just enough to bridge that gap and overcome Chocolatito. And at this point in Estrada's career, when he getting there with you the second time, He's able to download data. He's able to recognize what he did wrong against you the first time, make corrections, adjust, and get the W. That's what he's done to this point in his career. That's what I'm picking him to do tomorrow night, bro. How he going to do it? Man, look. I'm going to say it's going the distance and he's going to win by decision. And the reason I'm saying that, because I want to see the fight last. This is because it's going to be a fun-ass fight to watch. I don't want it to get stopped early. I want it to go 12 rounds, and I want my prediction to be right. So we're going Juan Francisco Estrada, bro. I see Chocolatito starting off fast. First five rounds, he might be up three to two. You know, first four rounds, he might be up three to one. First five, three to two. After the first four rounds, I see, a, I see a, um, Estrada getting his distance. Starting to pick up on the counter punching, picking up his face, going to I mean picking up his pace, going to the body, and then kind of dominating the middle, you know, the middle rounds. You know what I'm saying? Saying he win about five five rounds, five through eight. You know? So he wins those rounds three to one. So after eight rounds, it's four rounds to four. It's four rounds to four. And then the last 9, 10, 11, and 12. I think he wins a good majority of those, those rounds, Estrada does. I think he's going to be stronger at the end. I think he's going to be able to counterpunch better. And I think Chocolatito is going to fade just enough for him to pick up three of those last four rounds. I think he's going to win like seven rounds to five, bro. I think it's going to be that close of a fight. It could be 8-4, but I think it's going to be seven rounds to five, bro. On most scorecards for Estrada. That's how I see the fight going. Estrada by decision. Don't be getting mad because I ain't say majority decision, a split decision, or unanimous decision. Decision, bro. Estrada by decision. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. In the comment section, bro. Who is gonna win this fight? This is a tough one to call for me, bro. Toughest of the toughest of the night by far. We trying to go 4-0 though. We're trying to go 4 0. We got a prediction record of 6, 2, and 2 on this channel, bro. Six right, two wrong, two draws. I can tell you my draws. Anthony Durrell and Kyron Davis, that shouldn't have been a draw. Anthony Durrell won that fight, in my opinion, but damn it, they called it a draw, so we got a draw on the record. The other draw we got was when Rachmanov and Jojo Diaz fought. I picked Rachmanov to win because I didn't like how Jojo Diaz came in out of shape and he didn't seem like he was ready. You feel what I'm saying? And so I picked the upset, and I almost got it. I almost got it. I almost was, was, was the pick king. But they called it a draw. So whatever. And then my two losses, Warrington got his ass beat. Got his ass beat. I didn't see that coming. I should have. 
But I did. So that's an L. And then my other loss was when Burchell got his ass starched by Oscar Valdez. Damn it. I picked Burchell. The other six I did on this channel so far, I got them right. So your boy know what he talking about, bro. Listen to my picks and listen to my predictions, okay? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think of this fight. Chocolatito versus Estrada. I got Estrada. Who you got? Let me know in the comment section. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video, bro. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the like button. Put your seatbelt on when you get in my car, bro. Put it on so you can be safe. So you can be safe, bro. Hit the like button if you watch the video. It only makes sense. My views need to match my likes, bro. And if you're talking boxing on YouTube and you want to have me hop on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. That's knockoutboxing, the number eight, the number six at yahoo.com, bro. I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out chill. Peace.